Yo, welcome back everybody to a brand new Peach July Paradox Rift deck video today. I'm going to be showing off the most underrated way to play Iron Valiant, and that is going to be with Palkia V-Star. Now, of course, Iron Valiant, I haven't done a video on yet, but I've been cooking for a while, and I've been working on a Palkia Valiant deck for quite some time, and I am finally going to get around to doing a video on Valiant, because I think it's actually really powerful when combined with Palkia V-Star. Of course, Iron Valiant does have that ability, Tachyon Bits, where, of course, when you switch it into the active, you can put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. And then your main attacker is that Palkia V-Star, which is a stronger Entei. Yeah, you don't get access to Radiant Charizard or Magma Basin, but you do have the ability to hit really hard with Palkia. Subspace Well does 60 plus 20 more damage for each bench Pokemon, which is really powerful. You're doing more than Entei. If both players have a full bench, you're doing 260 damage, which is a ton of damage to do. And when you combine that with Tachyon Bits, you can hit some pretty high numbers really quickly if you're setting up damage on multiple Pokemon. Um, if you don't knock something out, you can Tachyon Bits KO it to take like a multi-prize turn. A lot of cool plays can be made. You even get access to Radiant Greninja in the deck with your V-Star Power Star Portal. And you can also play Suicune, which is quite literally Blue Entei. Um, and you can attack with Suicune early on thanks to having Melanie in the deck. And yeah, I think this deck is super underrated. I've seen a lot of people play it, and uh, I think this deck definitely has a lot of potential in our format. Us, well, the most underrated way to play Iron Valiant because it's got a lot of a lot of power behind it. Palkia is a lot more tankier than Entei, and it does more damage, and that is what I think makes Palkia pretty decent. But yeah, before we get into this video, shout out to the sponsor card, Kevin TCG. As always, if you're ever looking for any PTCG live pack outs, get them at Card Kevin. If you're looking to get Paradox Rift codes or an older set like Celebrations or 151 or some IRL Pokemon TCG singles and product too, Card Kevin sells all that over there. If you get there, Card Kevin at the checkout, use my discount code code LDF for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help our Card Kevin. So shout out Card Kevin. Check them out. Use code LDF. Uh, check out the Shuffle Squad down below every Monday. I post a new video on their channel. You can check out my second channel down below for some extra content too. And the podcast channel down below, the Mentor My Pod that I co-host with my friend Linty. We didn't upload an episode on Friday because Linty was uh, busy for Thanksgiving. Um, but we will have an episode out this next Friday. So be tuned for that or stay tuned for that, I should say. Uh, but yeah, this is the list I am playing. I've seen some variants of this list floating around. I've seen one using uh, Temple Sinnoh with Spiritomb. Um, another build I've seen is playing it with Shen Pao. Now, Palkia Shen Pao is a deck that did exist in a couple formats ago because Shen Pao was a great upgrade of Palkia because we lost Capacious Bucket, but then we got Shen Pao, which gets you water energy. You can Star Portal to it. It becomes an attacker. Shen Pao Palkia is not bad. I'm not a fan of the Shen Pao in this deck, mainly because I don't know if you have... The, you don't have the bench space for it. You just don't really have the resources for it. In my opinion, instead of playing Shen Pao, I think it's just overall better to just play Earthen Vessel. It's literally Shen Pao, and it also discards a card from your hand, which can synergize sometimes nicely with the Beeborov. So, I don't know. I'm not a fan of the Shen Pao in this build of Palkia. Like, if you're going to play Valiant, I don't think you need to play the Shen Pao because you have Earth and Vessel, but I have seen some builds playing the Shen Pao. I think the Vessel is better because you can also use it with Irida, but um, if you want to play the Shen Pao, you can. Um, but instead of Shen Pao, I am playing other basics like the Medicham. Yoga Loop, if you don't hit the high enough damage to knock out, you can always leave it to be Yoga Loop. All you have to do is just attach an energy to Medicham V and then Melanie to it in order to do Yoga Loop. So that's why we are playing the one of Medicham. And then the Suicune, again, it's basically just Blue Entei. It's another attacker. It's a basic, and it's a great way um, to attack early on. If we just start with Suicune sometimes, uh, or we can go into Suicune turn one and get an early Blizzard Rondowaf and put on some early pressure with Suicune. So there are a lot of uses for Suicune in this deck, I think. Um, that's for sure. Um, so I have stuff in the deck. We are playing the Lost City. Uh, I think it's the best stadium to play in here. We're not playing any recovery, so Lost City is probably just the best stadium. Um, maybe you want to play three stadiums. I did find that with this deck, Path the Peak is kind of annoying because it does hurt your... Uh, your your draw engine a little bit with your Greninja early on. It also stops you from being able to do Tachyon Bits, which is annoying. So I wouldn't mind either playing like a second vacuum or a third stadium would all be good inclusions in here. Even something like a Defiance Band or Choice Spell could be kind of cute. Just more damage mods could be good too overall. We are playing two copies of Future Booster Energy Capsule, which is a great card because it gives your uh, Iron Valiant a free retreat. So you just put on your Valiant, you switch into it, you Tachyon Bits, you retreat back into Palkia, boom, free 20 damage right then and there. Um... And, uh, yeah, this list I am playing for the deck. Again, I think it's super underrated. I think this deck has some potential in our format right now. And let's go show it off and see what crazy plays and combos we can do with this deck. All right, we are going second here with our deck. If we can maybe open up with a Suicune Donk, that would be pretty cool. Or at least a turn one Suicune. We are going to open up the game here with a Mulligan, unfortunately. Not really giving away what I'm playing to my opponent, though, which is nice. But we are Mulliganing nonetheless. All right, let's see what this new hand is going to be looking like. Mulliganing twice? Really? Okay. We open up a lot of stuff. 
Question is, what do I start with? Valiant or Palkia? I think I'll start Palkia. I don't want to reveal the Iron Valiant, so... It's fine. We have to just Iono and hope for the best. Unfortunately, our hand isn't that great. Like, we don't have a... Uh, we don't have as much going on in the hand. They got a huge mulligan. Oh my god, 10 cards. Yikes. A Swablu. Right, what am I playing against here? Rallet. Playing against Decidue X. We're playing against all the jank today, apparently. What the heck? Rogues Galore. How do I beat this? Because, like, Altaria is kind of a problem. This actually could be a tough one to beat. Pidgeot? They're playing, like, a bird box deck. Yeah, we're playing against all the rogues. This Two rogue decks in a row. So Titan, now we're playing against Decidueye, Pidgeot, Altaria. Question is, are they playing Altaria EX or are they playing... Hmm. Hello there, Cleffa. Um, are they playing Altaria EX or are they playing the Altaria that moves damage off? See, this matchup actually could be kind of tough. Cleffa's really good, though. We can Yoga Loop it after we hit it with uh, Tachyon Bits, which is nice. Not sure if that'll be relevant, though. We don't play DT, which is, like, the one thing. We don't really we don't play DT, so we'll see. And they just pass. Really would like to go for a Suicune, but I unfortunately won't be able to do with this hand. I don't really want to do anything with the hand. What am I getting Rainy Greninja? But, like, I'd have to get rid of some important cards. I guess I can get rid of the Lost City. I don't think I'm really going to need it. Hopefully not. I don't think they're playing Path. If I had a better hand, Suicune would have been ideal there. All right, Iono. We're not going to be attacking this turn, which is a problem. Hopefully we can get a Battle VIP or something. There, okay. We got all of the Battle VIPs. There you go. All right, we'll grab... Bidoof Palkia. I don't really need any other basics, I don't think. I'm going to do this. We're going to Vessel this away. I mean, I guess I could have got Suicune, but just want to thin, get all the energy in my hand and stuff. Okay, we got Nest Ball. Do I really want to put Suicune in play, though? I don't want... Well, we already have Valiant. Uh, I might want to leave the spot open for Medicham. That's kind of my thought process. So I'm thinking. I kind of want to leave the spot open for, like, potential Medicham plays. So I think I'm going to just... I'm not going to get, I'm not gonna get Suicune. Just gonna look through my deck one more time. Gotta find a Pelky of V Star next turn. We'll see. I'm kind of scared, not gonna lie, because my opponents like th they can set up a bunch of birds. I might be cooked. Well, maybe not. I guess like Pidgeot's actually kind of easy to KO. We can like Tachyon bits it and then Pelky it for a bunch of damage. So maybe we try to maybe maybe we try to keep my opponent board locked. So maybe what we try to do put like 20 damage on the Cleffa. We we don't knock. We try to not take any prizes. Oh, God. Are they ever Kenny Pidgeot? Yeah, so they are playing this. This Altaria is kind of annoying. Um, it can heal something instantly. So that makes it kind of tough to knock out Decidueye. We actually might need... No, no. Double Valiant is only 300 damage. Decidueye is 320 HP. Maybe we just... Okay, I think we try to keep my born and board locked. So we don't knock anything out. We put 20 damage on the Cleffa. So we can try to Yoga Loop it when the time comes. Ooh, they're just actually going to attack with the Altaria. All right. Maybe I just kill the Altaria then. I'm fine with killing the Altaria. The thing is kind of annoying, so I wouldn't I wouldn't hate that. We do draw an escape rope. Could go into Iron Valiant here, but I do I actually do want to kill this Altaria, so I don't think I want a rope. Okay, let's do Vessel. Ideally, we got a Palkia or an Irida. I just want to get Palkia down this turn. I want to kill this Altaria. I don't want to get knocked out. There we go. Nice. We can... We can Greninja here, too, actually. We can knock out the Pidgey and the Rowlet. Go Rope, Valiant, hit Cleffa for 20. Yeah, we can knock out... Okay, we can knock out the Pidgey and the Val and the, the Rowlet. We can knock out both Rowlets, even. That's not bad, either. Can't both Rowlets isn't bad. I don't really want them to... Be, I don't want them to get a Decidueye in play. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think we're gonna do this. We're gonna go... Um, put that on. Play the rope. Might even put 20 on Pidgey, to be honest. I'm not sure. We actually have a lot of options here. My opponent didn't put a mana fee in play. I, like, just realized that. And they're gonna go Cleffa. Okay. So we're gonna Tachyon. I can put 20 on Cleffa to Yoga Loop it. I do have Water Energy in hand. Plus, I have Nest Ball. We just need a Melanie. I don't really have a Bibberl in play. 
I kind of like putting damage on the Pidgey so we can knock it out with Palkia if they fill their board back up. I kind of like that. Yeah, we can always tacky on this Cleffa down the road. We don't have to do it this turn exactly. Yeah, it's fine. And then we'll Star Portal. I'm going to keep that bench spot open, like I said. We'll just knock out... Just KO double Rowlet, I guess. Just, yeah. I mean, if they get the Pidgeon play, I don't I don't really want them to. But we can always knock the Pidgeot out with Palkia V-Star. It's not, like, Pidgeot's pretty... It's only got 206 HP. We can easily knock that out, I think. Because they're going to have to put Pokemon back into play. Decidueye is probably their main attacker. Um, like, yeah. I think it's fine to just set up the the Kale the Rowlets here so we can set up for, like, a, a cool, like, knockout on the Pidgeot. Because we can knock out Pidgeot easily with Palkia. We just got to put a couple damage counters on, and then we can knock it out with Palkia. And we can kind of control their board. Like, I don't have to take... I don't have to knock everything out. Okay, they did get Rare Kenny Pidgeot. And maybe I should have went after the Pidgeot then. No, it's fine. I don't... I mean, even, even they have Quick Search. I don't mind this thing being in play, because I can easily knock it out with Palkia, like I said. Once we find Boss, we can knock out the Pidgeot pretty easily. So I think it's fine to do that. I probably could have put another energy on the Greninja here, but they can just get a Manaphy. I don't think we want to... I could have... Yeah, I could have put an energy on Greninja, because they might... They might have a... They might not get Manaphy. Well, yeah, they would have got Manaphy. But I guess we want them to get Manaphy this... Yeah, maybe I should have attached another energy to the Radiant Greninja. They lost on a Pidgey. Hmm. Yeah, I need to find Irida or Melanie. I need draw cards. I don't really have any draw cards right now. There's a Mew coming down. Ooh. So I should have put an energy on Greninja. They're not benching Manaphy at all. Okay, then. What do we draw? <laughs> Medicham. All right. I think we're just going to go back to doing subspace swell, I think. We're just going to rope here. See what they give me. They go Pidgeot. No, I was going to say. They go Pidgeot. We can knock it out. That's fine. We'll go Valiant. We will put 20 damage onto the Pidgeot. Hmm. I kind of need to draw cards. I have the Concealed here, too, while we're at it. Heavy Ball and Rope. Uh, let's take another Palkia off the prizes for now, sure. I'm just going to knock out their active with Palkia. I don't think Palkia gets KO'd here. The Sidewide doesn't do enough damage. Could play the Lost City. I'm going to save it. I don't know, like, I don't know what stadium they're playing. I don't want to, like... Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna play it safe. Just keep velocity. I don't know what stadium they have. Water? Yo, we got the water. Okay, big, big, big. I still need to find Melanie and stuff. Like, I'm not able to draw cards in the moment. But with like the rope in hand, we're cooking. In fact, the rope's kind of huge here because if my opponent goes to Sidui, basically what they want to do, they want to take the hit from Palkia and then they want to heal with Altaria, which is this might make this tough matchup tough, but. I'm at the point now where all I really have to do is take one prize and then another one prize. And, or knock out, take one prize, knock out Pidgeot. Again, though, I do really need to find this, um... I really need to find a supporter. I haven't played... I've literally played one Iono this entire game. I haven't seen an Irida or Melanie yet, which I need to find. We're hoping they bench a Pokemon here because... I potentially can kill Pidgeot next turn, right? I might be able to knock out the Pidgeot next turn. I need to find a boss... I need something. I might have to rope subspace next turn and just set up Pidgeot to be KO'd. I think that's the play. Because we're kind of struggling right now to find... We're, we're, we're just not able to set up as much as I want. If I can draw Melanie, we could Yoga Loop their Cleffa. Can I... I could win, potentially. Oh, we top decked the boss! That's huge! Alright. Yeah, we got the KO. So, let's Nest Ball for Suicune. Yeah, I don't think we need Yoga Loop anymore. We have the Rope. Yeah, we can kill their Pidgeot. This, see, this is why I set up damage on the Pidgeot. Because, like, I knew I was able to KO it at some point pretty easily. I mean, I'm already doing 240 damage. We don't need to put damage on it. Could put 20 there. Retreat. Boss the Pidgeot. We'll play Lost City. Uh, we are getting KO'd. Uh, I mean, we have game next turn, right? We literally just retreat, knock out Cleffa with Iron Valiant. So, put that on Suicune, I guess. We can do Fleet Footed. Okay. That's basically GG's. We take the Pidgeot out. This is why I set up damage on it. And uh, it paid off. It was a nice, it's an easy two-prize knockout. 
because I like I see this is why I didn't KO the Pidgey because like I knew I was eventually gonna KO it if they just put it into play because it's like okay that thing is fragile Palkia can hit you know pretty easy numbers on it if I put a couple tachyon bits on it and it paid off as I was able to KO it now my opponent has no Drongen in play and all I have to do is just go retreat into Valiant and I win that's GG's GG's I like my opponent's deck very creative but Palkia Valiant you can just hit the numbers and that's that's how it works we can tachyon bits KO their Cleffa take our last prize of the game and boom just like that we have taken the dub there was a lot of plays we had we bro we won that game by playing a one draw supporter we didn't play Irida. we didn't play melanie we played boss and iono that's it and we still pulled it off so yeah the game went how i expected they didn't put a manaphy in play which was crazy i didn't expect that but that also played into our strategy pretty well because it just let us take out those rylets right away again this game ooh, lost zone this matchup should be fine we do have some tricks up our sleeve thankfully we got a good start Ooh, maybe not so thankfully. We prized. Prized two Pelkias and our Suicune. What? Bro, how's that possible? All right, well, let's Concealed. Another VIP. I mean, we'll play it. There's nothing to grab, though, which is actually pretty hilarious. Those are some insane prizes, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to just pass. Yeah, it's unfortunate. We had to prize some pretty good cards there. What we'll the just Star Portal into Palkia? We only have the one Palkia. If my opponent's playing Raikou and they knock out my Palkia, I'm going to lose because I literally have, like, no attackers. This is actually a little insane, to be honest. That's pretty unlucky that I had to prize that many good cards. That's not good. What the heck, bro? How do, how do you do that? I, I could Irida for Heavy Bond. I think we're going to have to. Oh, they're playing Giratina, though. This is not... This is not like a turbo loss zone. It's Giratina. Which will be a little problematic if they have Path, because then I want a Valiant's ability. Which kind of sucks. There's Greninja. They have a seven card hand. Let's see if they have anything else going on. Yeah, I think we met that Irida for Heavy Ball. Heavy Ball Palkia is probably the play, because I need to get another Palkia V in play this turn. Just in case. They can get turn two Giratina, probably. Starting Sableye is not terrible for us. And unfortunately, they get a battle VIP pass. There it is. Hmm. They are going to fill their board. No, they actually don't get a Giratina. They actually also get no mana fee. So, depending on how this goes, I can just Radiant Greninja and snipe the two Comfies. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't grab mana fee. What the heck? No Giratina, no mana fee is kind of crazy. Hmm. But in, depending on the scenario, I might have to grab... A vessel though off of Irida, because I do need another energy if I'm gonna do conceal, if I'm gonna do Moonlight Shuriken. But I can Moonlight Shuriken my opponent. Escape rope. Hmm. Uh, give him Palkia. It's fine. Depending on whether or not we can get an energy or not, I might have to go into the Radiant Green. I might have to like. Grab a switch or something. We're going to have to see what we get off Concealed, I guess. We'll see. My opponent does have four in the Lost Zone, so they can go Cramorant here if they wanted to. I do need to get Bidoof in play before they get to Sableye, too. They're going to Comfy again. They're going to do another round of Comfy. Again, I'm surprised they didn't bench a Giratina. But this actually, maybe it is a Turbo Lost Zone deck. Maybe it's not Giratina. But they have Path, though, so I don't know. It is weird they didn't get a Giratina down, though. It's very suspicious. Okay, it is not Giratina. Okay, so we very much do need to bench another Palkia then. Hmm. Okay, we'll see. As If they path me here, it's actually kind of annoying. Okay, good. This is actually a little bit of an interesting spot to be in. We'll see we draw. Melanie again. Uh, we'll start the turn for Concealed. I get another energy? We'll see. Okay, we do get Vessel energy. Okay. So we can go... I definitely want to take these the Greninja knockout. There's no reason not to. So, let's go Irida. For Palkia Rope. I just gotta hope my opponent doesn't knock me out next turn while I'm on the bench. That would not be ideal. Like, if they somehow can my Palkia next turn, we're in trouble. But we can get a Suicune off the prizes, so it's okay. So, Rope. 
wanted to get Bibberl in play too, to be honest. But it's fine. We can go do this. I don't really know where to put the Tachyon bits damage, to be honest. I don't think this matters. 20 damage is sort of irrelevant. Put on Sableye, sure. Pretty sure that's like irrelevant damage. Got three in there. Okay. Yeah, we'll just knock out the comfies. Uh, I could bench my other Iron Valiant. Yeah, we'll do that too. And then we'll just Moonlight Shuriken. We'll knock out both Comfies. Could kill their Sableye too. I don't really want to get Sableye. They're at five. Course goes to seven. No, it's fine. Let's kill the Comfies. It's fine. I'm not really worried about Sableye right now. We can also like set up Tachyon bits on it. All right, we'll see what our prizes are here. Thankfully, we got Palkia and Suicune. All right, we got attackers, baby. We got the attackers on deck. Let's go. We're chilling. I have to be mindful, though, of my opponent's, like, list. They have Path, which is a little sketchy. But they're playing Roaring Moon. So we'll see. But, yeah, they didn't get Manaphy. They must have prized Manaphy. That was my only guess is why they didn't get Manaphy. Or they're trolling. Yeah, if they get to Sableye, they can knock out my Bidoof, which would not be ideal. Because they can have, like, Roxanne in the late game, which is a little sketchy. But it's going to be a bit harder for them now to get to 7 um, because I did kill two comfies, but my opponent Clara is, but that means I can't Colrus, so it's like, now they have to do, like, Lost Vacuums, so we'll see. Yeah, if they get to Sableye here, it's a little annoying. I'd prefer if they didn't get Sableye this turn. There's a Nest Ball, gonna grab a Manaphy. All right, a little too late for that to matter, because I don't think I'm gonna be using Greninja anymore. So that's fine with me. Yeah, they did have Manaphy, but yeah, they didn't bench it for whatever reason, and that allowed me to take some Moonlight Shuriken KOs, which is good. Yeah, next turn, we could even Yoga Loop the Sableye. I'd have to draw a lot of good cards, though. It's probably not going to happen, but Yoga Looping Sableye is something we could try to work towards. We'll see. My opponent does have 10 in hand. Can they take a prize this turn? There's a Switch Cart. Comfy. That'll go to 7. They'll be at Mirage Gate now. They're down 3 Switch Cart, which is also good. Obviously, Tachyon Bits is strong, but Switch Cart can heal it. See, so they Flower Select away here. Dark energy, that's one dark energy gone. All right, that's good. I do want to find Iono at some point, too, in the late game, but we're cruising with what we got. Do I ever bench Suicune or Palkia? Which one's better here? I want to say Palkia, but I don't know. So we can get two shot by Spit, which is kind of awkward, because we know they play Clara, and they're just going to hit my Radiant Greninja. So this is a turn... Oh, they got Path. That's fine. This is a turn where I really want to get... Bibberol, because they can now KO. That was like a top deck, actually. We could boss KO the Sableye. Remove it from play. We've already put the 20 on it, though. Like, we're committed to it. Hmm. I'm going to Melanie. I need it. I want to draw cards. I want to find Bibberol. There we go. Nice. I want to get Bibberol in play, because my opponent can now go... They can, like, Sableye, Greninja, Bidoof, so I don't want them to do that, so... Better get this guy down now. Let's do this. We'll Bibberol for two. I need to find Lost City. Get my abilities back. There's Iono and Escape Rope. Those are good. Yeah, we gotta get rid of that stadium. I have Vacuum and stuff, so we'll see. Uh, prize number one's usually always pretty good. Another Palkia, not terrible. We did get rid of Suicune. My opponent could knock me out with Roaring Moon this turn, but I think we're at the point now where they kind of have to use one prizers. They might play Radiant Charizard, but they might not because they're playing paths. I don't even know. There's another Chorus. So I'm going to save the late game Iono because they're going to play all their Choruses now, and then we can like hit them with an Iono in the late game. They're definitely going to get to Sable at me here. They are playing Roaring Moon, yeah. Confirmed. We'll see what they end up doing. Yeah, I need to find this Lost City so I can Yoga Loop Sableye. Because I imagine they're going to get a prize this turn. If my opponent doesn't take a prize this turn, they're in trouble. I mean, I guess I am board locked, but they need to take a prize. Plus, I can always Lost City their Sableye. So, like, they kind of have to take prizes. They can't really just sit here and chill. Yeah, there's another Chorus gone. Makes my Iono ten times stronger. We have a lot of plays we can make here. As long as I can just keep up the pressure with the Palkias, we're fine. Maybe I don't even need a Yoga Loop, but Yoga Loop would be pretty good. That would, like, probably, like, lock the game up. 
The paths are pretty annoying, though. I'm not going to lie. These paths are pretty annoying. My opponent is going to rod. They could cram me this turn and then Sableye knock out Palkia Greninja for three prizes. But, like, they're also just too far behind at that point, I feel like. So, I don't know. Escape rope. Give them the Radiant Greninja. See what they end up doing here. Yeah, they are going... So, they're going Sableye. They're probably going to kill Bibberol, which... I mean, I don't really want to lose my Beebs, but... I don't play Jirachi, so... There you go. Hmm. This is a little awkward. We could just go rope boss KO Sableye. If I can draw a Lost City, can Tachyon Bits. I don't know. This is actually a little awkward. They're killing my poor Bibberol. Are they going to kill Bibberol or are they not going to kill Bibberol? That's the question. I'm curious to see what they're going to go after. It's probably going to be the Bibberol, though. I feel like you just always kill Bibberol here. But even then, they get one prize. I don't know if... I don't know. They're really far behind. Yeah, I guess they're going to go after Bibberol. Is Beebs dead? Not my Bibs. Yeah. So this is why I want to evolve it, because I didn't want them to take two prizes. I mean, I don't like losing Bibberol, but they only take one prize for knocking it out, and I'm going to be at two prizes remaining, so I'm, like, pretty far ahead. Another Water Energy is pretty good. We can... I think we just go for the Melanie. I don't want this thing to stay alive, though. I will retreat KO it, sure. That's Melanie. Okay, a lot of switch. Not that they matter. We did get an Ultra Ball. I think at this point we can... I think we can get rid of a yoga loop many chain. I don't think we're gonna yoga loop. I'm like thinking about it. I don't think yoga loop is something we're gonna be really doing anytime soon. We just knock him out. I don't want them to go into a roaring moon though. If I knock him out, they can go roaring moon calamity storm. I guess it's better to force him to frenzy gouging, but they could have like counter catcher roaring moon me. I go to stay in the active. It's fine. I think it's okay to stay in the active. Because, I, I mean, they could knock me out Calamity Storm, but they also get rid of the path. I can then, like, Tachyon Bits, set up a subspace KO. I think it's fine. Roaring Moon knockout with Roxanne could be a little scary, but there's two Palkias in play, fully powered up. Their one prize attackers are not as good. They could go Radiant Charizard. I don't know if they're even playing Radiant Charizard. I don't even know, to be honest, what's going on. Okay, there's another Sableye. Well, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find Lost City there. This path is putting in a lot of work. Because I definitely could have Yoga Loop there if Path wasn't in play. Yeah, I, had, I think I had Yoga Loop if Path wasn't in play. So that actually really sucks. And there's the Rory Moon. I have Boss in hand, so if they don't rock sand me here, I'm just going to knock it out and win the game. There's Mirage Gate. Do they have the energy required? They need two energy. They need a Dark and another. They don't have it. Ooh, did my opponent not check? I mean, they, they've only played two Mirage Gate. They probably... Oh, they've played... Well, they have one left. They have to rock sand. If they don't hand a me, I win. If they're like if their plan is to go Sableye and a Roaring Moon, I just win because I have boss. They have to hand a me here. Okay, there's a counter catcher. Bringing in my Iron Valiant. Are they going to knock it out? They can kill my Valiant, but then like I just subspace well for game. Okay, they do have rock sand. Yikes. Okay, let's see what we got off the rock sand. Yo, let's go. Future Booster Capsule. Because what they could do, they could also sit here and just Sableye. And hope this thing is stuck. Thankfully, we drew Irida. I just need Boss to win this game. I think this game's basically wrapped up, though. It's looking pretty good for us. There's a Heavy Ball. Can they go Sableye this turn? They are down. They've already attached. They've burned three Mirage Gates. They're actually down a decent bit of switching cards, too. So, like, yeah, like, they're, they're, they might not be able to pull off. Yeah, they got just nothing. All right, sick. What do we draw? The Irida. Okay, we'll play the Irida. I could just rope here. I'm just going to be another comfy. Do I just burn the rope? I don't really need it. We just go... I could go vacuum. No, I don't want to vacuum. What's better? I might need the switch if I want to go for, like, a Palkia KO on the Roaring Moon. No, I don't... We don't want... We don't want thing. I think we just grab... What do I grab here? Why is this so hard to decide? Tree, knock out, they go Roaring Moon. I think this is... That's yeah, fine. We'll just 
I don't reveal the vacuum. Let's scrap switch. I don't reveal the lost vacuum. Subspace swell. I'm not gonna bench Palkia on the off chance they have like two rocks in and a counter catcher again. I don't know. I just wanna I don't wanna walk into that. Everything on the board right now is like fine. They could vacuum the capsules off, I guess. They haven't played a vacuum yet. That's why I was like, I maybe was, I was tempted just to switch. I wanted to save the capsule because I don't want to get vacuumed, but it's always better to have the switch anyways. All right, we'll see what my opponent does. If they frenzy gouging, I mean, I just win with Palkia. If they calamity storm, we can knock them out with subspace. Well, it's kind of checkmate at this point. I, I can't really see how my opponent is going to win at this point. Yeah, I can't see a world where they win. If they put like an ancient booster capsule on, I have ear in hand for vacuum is why I didn't grab vacuum. I was thinking about it. I was like, do I get rid of this Path of Peak so I can get my abilities back? But yeah, no. We definitely keep the path in play. Okay, I don't even know if they can go Roaring Moon this turn, to be honest. My opponent doesn't have... Uh, like they, they, They're down a lot of switch. No, they do have a boss. There's the other Gusting. This is why I didn't bench Palkia. I mean, we have double switch, but still, it's like just in case. I guess we're just going to get Calamity Stormed. Okay, they have Beach Court. That's GG's, though. They have to put an Ancient Booster Capsule on, but I have Irida in hand, so it doesn't matter. They need an Ancient Booster Capsule. They don't have it. All right, and that should be GG's. My opponent kills Iron Valiant, but it doesn't matter. We can knock this thing out, so. Yeah, it's GG's. I could also just go Rope for game two, so. Yeah, we have like a million win cons here. We just went by benching Palky, I think. And we top deck rope anyways. Yeah, that works too. Yeah, 220. Just switch. Tachyon knockout. That's cooler. You know what? Iron Valiant in the thumbnail. We might as well take the opportunity to, to Tachyon bits. It's in the thumbnail, bro. We got to use it. And game. All right. This matchup could have been a little tough, actually. The path were kind of annoying. The path did make a big difference there. Um, that, like, denied me a potential yoga loop turn. Prizing all of those attackers was pretty bad, too. The bunch of basics prize wasn't helping, but we got over in the end. My opponent was cooking, but I was cooking even harder. All right, getting this game, not a bad start. We are going first. My opponent did let me go first. I need a VIP, to be honest, and this hand could be cooking. If I can get Bib Roll or something next turn and try to set up a hand where I can draw cards. My opponent letting me go first is interesting, so we'll see what they're playing here. Could be Maridon. Could be Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon would be fine. No, it's a Lost Zone deck. They opened up with a Sableye. Drew another Water. Okay, do we have... Bibber, okay, we do. So let's grab Palkia. We'll Conceal and see if we can get something good here. Please give me a VIP. I did not get a Battle VIP. No. <laughs> the Battle VIP with... No. Depressing. I mean, I doubt we're going to get Turn 1 Mirage Gated. They open Sableye, but not finding our VIP Turn 1 really stinks. I could have Ultra Balled, but we obviously need to save for Palkia. Yeah, rip. VIP would have been so good. I could have got Bidoof and uh, probably a Valiant because I got the Switch Booster Capsule combo. It sucks we didn't get a VIP. They do have a Colrus here, which is not ideal. We'll see what they're playing, if it's Giratina or not. And it looks like it is Giratina. It starts so mid, it's not great. Fog Crystal, wait, maybe it's not Giratina? It's usually not a card you see in Giratina's Fog Crystal. Definitely an interesting card. Another Comfy. We'll see if they put Manaphy in play, because I can, can I can Greninja them and they don't put Manaphy in play. We'll see if that's what they grab. Thanks to the Vessel. Flower Select, they get rid of a boss? All right, that's a good card to see go. And unfortunately, they found a VIP. Yeah, the, <laughs> we're gaming today. They only got one Giratina. My point is not bench Manaphy. So we could go knock out double comfy. See, if I had a better hand, I could have maybe killed the Giratina with the boss here if I got Bidoof down. So that makes me feel even sadder I didn't get it. My opponent doesn't have a cram in play, so they're kind of locked in on the one Giratina. I'm surprised they only got a single Giratina there, to be honest. I mean, I guess they want a Greninja, but I can kind of control their board. I don't have to knock out Girat. I don't have to do Greninja here. I could. Well, they might path me too, which would suck. Okay, they don't. All right, what do we draw? Iono's good. We can probably just play Iono here. Okay, I'm going to Greninja first. Give me a Valiant so I can do Tachyon bits. That's fine. Grab Valiant. So I want to get some 
some bits going here. Do I get rid of Medicham? No, it's kind of an important card. Let's just go into Valiant. We can put 20 on the Giratina. Their bench is full, so we might as well put 20 on Giratina and then we'll Iono. Set up Giratina to be KO'd by a full board uh, subspace. Well, play the Iono. And we got no other basics. We got Palkia, though, which is good, but where are me basics at? There's a basic. What's prized? Boss, vacuum, switch. Nah, could be worse. Could be a lot worse. I could knock out the Comfy. Yeah, I feel like... Hmm. Nah, I feel like we'll kill Comfy. It's fine. I know they're board locked right now, but, like, getting the 20 on the team is perfectly fine. So I'm just going to kill their Comfy. I don't want them to, like, get to Sableye or anything. So let's just take our prize. Do get a battle VIP off the prizes. Probably the worst prize we could have got, obviously. It's fine. I need to get B Beeberl in play before they get to Sableye. That's another issue. Is like, not finding the VIP turn one means I can't get Bidoof down early, which means I can't get to Bibberl, which means could get cooked by my opponent. If they don't match Manaphy here, I could go for the knockout with Radiant Greninja. Which is kind of tempting. So we can go Switch, Greninja. Well, I need another energy, I guess. But that is an option. If I can get, get energy, I could go Greninja, knock out both Comfies, and then go from there. That could be an option. They found another Colrus off the Iono. Rip. Iono's a lie. They can get to six. They can definitely get to seven. They could knock out my Palkia here, which I guess could be a bit of an issue. But we'll see. I need basics, dude. Just not getting basics down is killing me. And they can probably get to seven. I bet uh, that, that was a pretty good Colrus. Hmm. Yeah, they're probably going to get me. No, don't do it. My Palkia was too young. That's why I maybe should have just kept them board locked there, to be honest. I'm, like, kind of regretting that now. We'll see if they can get the knockout. They should have the knockout in their hand. I don't they have a path. That's annoying. That's actually really bad. I don't have Star Portal. If they go path knockout, we're kind of in trouble. If not, it's really not the end of the world. It's kind of annoying though they got that path because I did want to attack you. Okay, they don't have it. All right, give me a boss top deck, please, one time. No, another Palkia. That's good, but not boss. It's going to be the turn where I get the Bidoof. Come on, Irida. Grab these two. I'm going to get Bidoof here. They could Sableye it, but then they're not doing Giratina. So it's like, okay, it's fine. It's kind of my thought process. Should I kill the Comfy? They could... I mean, they probably need a bench of their Giratina. Yeah, I think we'll kill Comfy. So I think we still want to knock out their Comfy. I need to take prizes, so there's no reason not to kill Comfy. All right, prize number two. Heavy Ball. That is another useless prize. We literally got the worst prizes. VIP and Heavy Ball. Two cards we do not need anymore. Rip. That feels bad. There's the Giratina. They should be able to KO me here. But we can maybe KO them back. They lost on Manaphy. Okay, so now I can hit them with Subspace Swell and then maybe Star Portal, Greninja Knockout Giratina. Take three prizes on like a Sableye and a Giratina at the same time. They can start Requiem here, which is a little scary. I don't know. Maybe I should have kept them board locked when I did. But I also was like fine to take prizes, but we'll see what they're able to do. They're definitely going to get the Star Requiem. They could Sableye this turn too, uh, which I don't think is really the right play for them to make. Especially because I am lining up a potential three prize KO at some point. I think they have to just go Giratina here and knock me out. If they don't bench anything, we're going to have to Tachyon Bits this thing in order to KO it. I don't think they're benching anything. Well, you can't even knock it out if they don't bench anything. Because I'm only doing... Not doing enough. Yeah, this Giratina is kind of bulky. But we can, like, Yoga Loop it, though. They're not benching anything. No! Dang it. I was like, they need to... Uh, that's annoying. They're playing around it. Yeah, it's not good. If only I had Echoing Horn in the deck. That's pretty bad. They didn't bench anything. It's fine. We can still hopefully come in and swing. What do we got off our top deck? Suicune. Okay, well, heavy Ball. Vacuum would have been a good prize, too. Could have got rid of this stadium. I could have star portaled. All right, Melanie. Give me an energy, please. I need something. Okay, that's really good. That was a really good Melanie. Holy moly. That gave me, like, everything I needed. We got bibs. Got the counter stadium. We can bench Suicune. Nope, a roll for five. Nice. We got switch. 
And I can't knock him out. I'm only doing 220, but I can knock him out next turn. So let's go do this. Tachyon Bits. Might be able to Yoga Loop him, actually, too, which is pretty good. 240 HP. Could go into Suicune. I can't knock him out, though. If only I play Choice Belt. Okay, let's Star Portal. I could go for that two prize KO I was talking about. Um, no, I think it's fine. Just build up Palkia. The Greninja play is tempting, but I can also, like, Yoga Loop or whatever do that. Hit him for 220. Hopefully, I don't get another path in play. That is a little awkward, though, if they get a path here. Then I can't tack you on them. But I can still potentially Yoga Loop if I can find a Medicham. I don't have Nest Ball, though. So. No, dude, not another path. It's making it so I can't do my cool play with my Valiant. Yeah, his paths are frustrating. And I prize my vacuum, so I don't think we're going to be able to tack you on bits this Tina, which is kind of bad. And they're just not going to do anything, so they don't mention the Giratina. This is a great opportunity to just capitalize on my opponent's weak board, but that path to the peak might have just ruined my plans. It's going to go Palkia. At the very least, we can knock it out with Hydro Break. Rope again. That ain't it, Chief. I mean, we can go for the potential Yoga Loop. But I think it's fine. If we get Medicham off this, I'm going to be a little annoyed. Yeah, good. I was going to say, we got Boss, which is good. Boss is huge, actually. Give me the Palkia V-Star. Nice. Okay. See, unfortunately, we are not going to be able to do our little play here with Yoga Loop or anything and the Tachyon Bits because the friggin' the path to the peak got in the way. It's fine, though. We got Boss in hand. So we can knock out a Giratina V if they bench one next turn. So we'll maybe be okay. But they can, like, two shot me with Sableye. I think we probably lose. We'll see. We'll see what our prizes are. There's Boss and Vacuum. There's the Counter Stadium bump. I don't think it's going to matter anymore. Yeah, I needed to yo I needed to either Yoga Loop or I needed to Valley and knock out their Giratina. But they got that annoying path in play, and I can't do anything about it. If they just get a Giratina V down, I win. And there is the Giratina. I think that's game. I don't see a world where they can win here. They can Rock Sammy, I guess. They can go Rock Sand Sableye. Never mind. Okay, maybe they can win this. They can still Rock Sand Sableye me. Okay, they've been a Giratina V-Star, though, which is good. Well, they have a Super Rod, though, which is not good. Yeah, we needed to kill the Giratina that turn. We could have won the game a lot easier, and that really sucks we whiffed. Let's see what they end up doing here. Yeah, the Vacuum Beam prize kind of sucked. This deck should maybe play two Vacuums, to be honest, or at least three Stadiums. But, like, Path isn't that popular, to be honest. Like, Giratina plays it. Maridon sometimes plays it. It's, like, about it. You'll see they had the Rock Sand. They probably do. Their hand is ginormous. If they don't rock sand me, I'd be very surprised. Oh, they don't have rock sand. And it looks like we're going to win the game then. Look at that. No, we can't kill... No, we can kill the gear team. We can tack you on bits, knock it out. Okay, never mind. Yeah, we don't have a base there. We're actually still just short on the knocking on the Giratina. But we do have the KO. They should have Sableyed my Suicune. Because they can just two-shot it. Or Sableye Valiant. But anyways, that works too. So we will get rid of this annoyance, get rid of this thing, get that out of here. We have a game, right? We're doing 200, tacking on bits boss wins us the game. So we don't have another basic at the moment. And that's the power of Iron Valiant Palkia. This is why Valiant is so good in this deck. Just, it sets up the damage and it, like, even though we could have had a cooler play there on that other Giratina V-Star, this always worked out in the end. So we can go retreat. Boss. Knockout and take the dub. There we go. GG's. I guess the vacuum beam prize ended up helping me in the end, anyways. Look at that. I guess it was correct to lost. I guess it was correct to lost mind the Bibberl, though. They could have also just lost mind Valiant, though, and then they could have just won the game with Sableye. I don't know. I guess it didn't really matter because we won, anyways. But maybe it was correct to kill Bibberl there. Now, before we do end off the video here, I do have some packs to open up on the versus ladder here. Um, We got a ton of packs. Yeah, we got. Four packs, and we have a Crown Zenith pack. So we have five in total. So we're going to open up some packs here to end off the Palkia Iron Valiant video here. Let's see what we got here. First Paradox Rift pack. 
The pack opening is in this game, man. They need to improve it, bro. Probably getting a lot of dust. I have mostly everything from this set, but a couple flirts wouldn't hurt or any alt arts I am missing wouldn't be bad. Hey, look at that gold reverse. I already had one. A eh, thousand credits, sure. Toxicity, I already had that too. Um, look at that. I gotta do a video on toxicity, actually. Okay, we got an Apom. I didn't have that. Yeah, that's a nice uh, illustrator rare. Glycopod. Crown Zenith. I've opened up a ton of these too. And yeah, we got another in the Crown Zenith pack. We got a Namorous. That's when you know you're down bad. That's when you know you're down bad. Um, but yeah, there you go, folks. That is the Iron Palkia deck in action. As you can see, the deck definitely is pretty powerful. It can make a lot of really cool plays happen. I mean, again, we were able to threaten Yoga Loop a couple times in this video. Um, the Valiant is just really good with Palkia. I think it's just one of the best partners Palkia can play right now because Tachyon Bits really does fix a lot of math for you. As you saw there, we wouldn't have beat Giratina without it. I mean, we could have went Concealed Cards into a Basic. But I think the only basic we had left in the deck was literally our Medicham. So the Valiant really came in handy to fix the damage. The Valiant's just really good. Just Sometimes just putting 20 damage on a Pokemon with a lot of HP is all you need to do. And that is what the Valiant is good for. This deck definitely is an underrated way to play Palkia. If you enjoyed the video today on Palkia Iron Valiant, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Help me on the road, pardon me, on the road to reaching 53. Thousand subs, check out Karkov and Abel. If you have any codes, use call the F. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord, the Shuffle Squad, the second channel, and the podcast channel. We uh, didn't get an episode on the podcast out this Friday because uh, Lindsay was away for Thanksgiving. But uh, that's all good because we're going to have another episode this next Friday. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on another video. Have a good rest of your day, and bye-bye.